Need to talk to you about the Mothman, remember? I've told you what I know. Look at me. Look right at me. Right now, young women, including my sister, who was a member of your family, are being abducted, tortured, and murdered. So focus and answer our questions. Right. You gave my friend and I a corpse inside a maple barrel. Who was it? The truth, Nana. I'm ashamed to admit it. It was Cousin Timothy. I came across his corpse in the woods after he passed, and I put him in a barrel. Poor Timothy is born with so many defects. OK. Cousin Timothy, this, this is a blood relative of yours? My late husband was a compulsive philanderer. He made the beast with every woman who worked on our estate, the maids, the cooks, the nannies. And then when they swelled with child, he forced me to pawn them off to avoid a scandal. But I knew a barren couple who lived in a cabin in the woods, the Starquists. I gave the children to them. How many children in total? Oh, over the years, half a dozen. That trucker that I caught, the one who bit off his tongue, he must have been one of them, a stark weather. A blossom, dear, in part. Nana, you're, you're, you're saying there is a secret, illegitimate clan of blossoms that have lived in the woods for two generations? Why did you call the corpse a mothman? The family kept to themselves, didn't like eyes prying into their business, so they created... A fiction. The Mothmen. One which we blossoms were all too eager to embrace. Do they still live in the woods? Oh, I know. They migrated from there to the mines, and then when that closed down, they moved closer to the highway. Who else has been propagating the Mothman idea for decades? Right in plain sight, right off the highway. Old man Dreyfus. Yes, Dreyfus Starkweather. Yes. Is he still alive? Oh, my God. You and I have both been there. Polly could have been there right under our noses. It's Tony. She said there's an emergency. 